Okay, so in this question, we're asked to find the domain of the function. What we're given here is something that we... No! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Thornley. We have a leading coefficient of 5. Well, I know that this is going to be a rainbow method problem, and I know all of you truly love rainbow method. So why don't we try and use our calculator... I know that the end of the rainbow... Why don't we try and use our calculators to find the zeros? So in our y equals, all right, in our y equals, we'll plug in 5x squared plus 7x minus 6. Notice I didn't have the radical in there, and here's the reason why. If I'm trying to find my zeros, I'm really just taking what's inside the radical, setting it equal to 0, and solving. So I'm just going to use what's inside without the radical. And what we're going to see here on our graph is going to be a parabola. Now, one thing I can tell here is that it's crossing at negative 2. So I actually don't even need to use my calculator to solve this because I already can see that it's crossing at negative 2. So one of my values is going to be negative 2 for my domain. The other one, I'm going to have to use a function on my calculator to figure it out. So I'm going to hit second, trace, that's my calculate menu, and I want to find the zeros, so I'm going to choose option 2. Now it's asking for my left bound. Well, my left bound needs to be to the left of this point right here, so I'm going to Right now, it's already set up to be to the left. I'm below it, but it's really to the left of it as well. So I hit Enter. Now it asks for my right bound. And we've done this before, but I'm using it in a new context now. I'm going above it because that's also going to be to the right slightly. So I hit Enter. And you'll notice both these arrows are pointing in towards the center, which is that point that I want to find. So now I'm going to guess. So I get close to being right on there. Hit Enter. And I get 0.6. And I'm OK with you using decimals. Or as a fraction, that'd be three fifths when it's simplified. So I have my two values. I have negative two, and I have the point six. So my domain is going to be x is less than or equal to the negative two, or x is greater than or equal to the point six or three fifths. All right, and that's how you can use your calculator to figure it out, rather than doing rainbow method. If you dread using rainbow method, either option works. The choice is yours.